So this is the Providence Athenium, uh, 251 Benefit Street. A uh, frequent haunt of Lovecrafts. Poe visited here with Sarah Helen Whitman. The library owns a copy of the American Review in which Poe signed below his anonymously published poem, Eulalame. Oh boy, bar barter battle. An exhibit of Lovecraft-related items is currently on display here. Well played, sir. It's Brown University, or otherwise known as Miskatonic University. Um, this is the gates they use and open and close only once. Once to allow graduates in, and once to allow graduates once they're done That's out. rather portentous. Yes. And now over here, we're going to sit in these seats where right. Lovecraft sat and posed for a picture. I okay. believe in mid-30s, but don't quote me on that. Do not. Uh, More the like, back to the yeah. Yeah, the back. there you go. Now, yeah. Ow! Wow. <laughs> he poked you. That had to hurt. All right, this is where Lovecraft sat way back when. Nice view too. Yeah, yeah. seriously. How's it feel? Feels well, good to sit out. It was great, man. I have a shower. Yeah, this is awesome. This is it. You are in his footsteps. Alright, let me know if you're good I'm a part of this one. That's cute. Now, where are we? We are at Brown University, otherwise known as Miskatonic University. Excellent. Oh, yeah, this is very nice. Wow, that's a gorgeous picture of the library. Alright, I'll swing the video around slowly so we don't make people. There we go. Shall I get out of the corner? John, hey. You can sit there for the moment. We're filming the John Hay Library. Let's swing over here and check out the yeah, skyline. College. They only needed to open the gates twice a year. They use non Euclidean portals the rest of the time. So, yeah, we'll visit the, uh, the grave tomorrow or the next day. Yeah. Let's walk into. Miskatonic, shall we? This thing is like four floors high and has huge steeples, like pointing things on it. It's falling apart. You know, oh, it's so old and it's like it's like an apartment. It's not like a house. But after this tour, all I can think of is trying to find a way. Three. All right. Am I supposed to say something? You can say whatever you like because Cthulhu is here. Approved. Yeah. Very That's cool. Now, do you want me to get a, an actual photo of it? As yeah, well? uh, me and the, the green guy. Will. Okay. Green guy. Old green guy. Yeah, green old gringo. Right. I hate to interrupt history for a second here, but I got it. my wife's uh, That's oh, right. okay. text to me. Okay. That's some punk named Vince LaRosa. It's going to be something. This is a neat photo. Nice. All right. What is this, Blair? I'm filming. Um, it looks like a Providence Historical Society. So, okay. If you played Arkham Horror, you can get thrown out of the Historical Society. So, ah, you don't want. Let's to... go get thrown out. All right. Let's All right. crash this party. Honestly. Honestly. Wave. Doing now, so let's go easy on busting on Blair. That's it. I'm not paying you now. All right. So, yeah. so what is this, Blair? What am I looking at? Okay, I'll read it off for you. Here Thank you. Go. Read it off. This please, is. Please do. This is the. No, go ahead. Samuel B. Mumford House. <laughs> Mumford and Sons. At 65 Prospect Street. You're spoiling the mood. Lovecraft's final home from 1933 to 37. Moved to this location in 1959. It served as the home of Robert Blake in The Haunter of the Dark. Ooh. Oh, that is awesome. That Very is cool. cool. I'm going to have to reread that story tonight now. You should. Oh, yeah, after, yeah. You should read it to Blair as a bedtime story. Now, have you guys seen uh, Pickman's Muse? No. no, I want to. Is it good? It's good. Okay. It's a shoe. kind of a cross. Whoa! 
I'm filming, so you want to make any comments? Oh, I just really appreciate how you, that's a nice sunset you prepared. There you go. Just for Especially you, Especially colorful. Just for you and your easing readers. They appreciate it, too. I hope so.